It's all about dinosaurs at the Hawthorne Public Library Kids Club. Let's go check it out, kids. This is a crab in the Puget Sound up near Washington State eating a shrimp. Now this is a leopard shark. As you can see it's got stripes along its back. This is an anemone fish, otherwise also known as a clown fish. The Amori eel. These are one of those we feed with tongs. We, he's got a lot of teeth in that mouth. Sometimes they come up and they'll bump you and want looking for food, but we kind of push them away. We give them the food through the tongs. Fish come in various sizes and shapes and very brilliant colors, all different kinds of colors. This is an emperor angelfish. And all fish aren't pretty. This is called the frogfish. This is a lionfish. This fish is also very dangerous. Those on top there would look like feathers on the back. The tip of those are very sharp. And inside those is a venom, like a poison. So if he was to stick you, it would hurt very bad. This is a puffer fish. It's one of those that swells up, but it's called a guinea fowl puffer. And you see he has actually a couple teeth. Looks like about a two-year-old getting teeth there. This is called a sea dragon, a weedy, weedy sea dragon. You see on the right side near the top is his mouth, long mouth and nose, and it comes on his tail. Well, he looks like a weed for protection because where this fish lives is where a lot of seaweed is, and so he looks just like the plant. So it's hard to tell, it's hard to tell the difference between the dragon and the plant. So the, his enemies don't know he's there. And this is Obadiah, one of our seals. And just different kinds of jellyfish here. That's called a moon jelly. And the body of this jellyfish is 95% water and 5% protein. And it eats plankton, shrimp, plants, and crabs. You can actually see these lights flashing on the sides, up and down the sides of these jellyfish. These fish are called Mexican lookdowns. And they're one of many unusual species of fish in the exhibit. You can see they have their eyes real on kind of way high, and it looks like they're looking down all the time. That's a porcupine fish. Can anybody tell me what that does? They swell up. They fill themselves full of water, and you see they have little bitty like spikes on their skin. They stick out like a, like a porcupine. And so, you, so it's hard for the big fish to swallow them. Sea otter. Our sea otters were or orphan pups that came from the Monterey Bay, and they eat one-third of their body weight, up uh, an equivalent of nine pizzas a day. We'll put it in so you guys can understand nine, if you ate nine pizzas a day. These are sea stars and anemones. And there's some shrimp in there and starfish. These are found all along the coastlines of the Northern Pacific. Notice the different colors of them. They're really brilliant and pretty. These are the giant Japanese spider crabs. They can grow up with a leg span of 14 feet across. They're, these will probably grow up to about six feet, and they're pretty big already in the, at the aquarium. They're found as deep as the thousand feet in the ocean. They are the world's largest crustacean. The Blue Cavern exhibit is uh, one of the largest exhibits they have. It's, and it's also the preview to the Baja California Gallery. It's three stories tall. But that thing is actually three stories tall there. It has 150,000 gallons of water in it. It features the animals that they consider at the top of the food chain. That means these are the animals that eat other animals. Um, they're yellowtail, barracuda, leopard sharks, giant black sea bass, moray eels, and uh, there's some rays in there. 
Now you can see there's a person standing down there at the bottom, so you can see how actually how tall this is. And this is Shelby, our harbor seal. Seals, which that is, don't have ear flaps like we do. They don't have an external ear like a cat or a dog has. A sea lion does. Also, their fins are different. And they, seals are, they're harder for seals to walk on, on land like sea, sea lions can walk fairly easily and they're the ones you see at circuses doing the tricks. You rarely see seals because they don't walk that good. You want to know, yours are right there. It's all right, honey, it's okay. It's okay, good. A lot of people think that snakes are slimy. Are they slimy? No. Called a burrowing owl. And they are from California. They're from here. They live underground. That's why they're called burrowing owls. They go underground and they're thieves. They steal the houses of gophers. And they live underground because it's very hot in the desert where they live. So it's much, much cooler underground or in the shade. So they might hang out in the branches and the trees, but when they go to sleep, and when they feel not very safe, they go underground. If you touched already, have a seat. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Now, you guys can move your eyeballs around, can't you? You can look up, you can look down. Owls can't move their eyeballs. This is what they have to do. Put binoculars on your eyes, both hands. Now while you're looking at me, don't move your head. Can you see the friend next to you? Yeah. Yeah. You can without moving your head? Yeah. No, you can't. Put your binoculars on. That's why you can see him, there you go. I'll now, see. you can't see him, so what do you have to do? Turn your head. That's how owls see. They have to turn their head and look whatever they need to see. gonna spray you, doesn't he? But what did I say? He can't spray now, but those skunks in the wild can. If they like cockroaches, they like to dig down and get them. They even like earthworms. Do you want worms? Yeah. No, not us, but animals do. Yeah. So this is Scooter Skunk. Pretty, 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 isn't she? Isn't he? Yeah, he's a cool little, little dude. Yeah, this is a great horned owl. Can owls turn their heads all the way around? Yeah. No, they can't. Not like you see on TV. Can you believe everything you see on TV? No, but he can turn his head 270 degrees. 360 is a circle. Sometimes they call that baiting. He sees the open room and he wants to fly. So I have to keep him right here so he doesn't fly onto any of you guys. They like to eat all kinds of things. Did you know that they'll eat cats? If you have an outdoor cat, they can eat it. They might not eat it in one piece, but if, it, if they want to and they're very, very hungry and they don't see any rats or mice or birds, they'll even eat other birds. And they're a bird, okay? They have a nice fork and knife. Yeah. Yeah, their beak is their fork, and what about their knife? Their claws, and they're called talons. You know what? This is a bird of prey. What do you think he does to eat? What does he do? He goes, he grabs it. He grabs it. That's how he eats. If it's too big, he can't eat it all together in one piece. But if it's, if it's um, small enough, he can eat it one big gulp. Yeah. Can you eat most of your food in one big gulp? No, we have to use our what? teeth. Does he have teeth? No, but if it's small enough, he can eat it. They have very good eyes and very good ears, much better than humans. Yes, much better now. If they come out at night and do their hunting, they need to be able to see very well, don't they? And hear. That's why they have the kind of face they have. This is kind of for the older people, but they have kind of like a parabolic disc. doing 
when he sticks his tongue out? Anybody know? Smelling. Smelling. That's right. Eating. Oh, eating's a good guess, but actually what he's doing is tasting the air. He's putting his tongue out, tasting the molecules of air, bringing them back in and putting them into special holes in the roof of his mouth. Now I want you guys to say this. It's called Jacobson's organ. Jacobson's organ. Jacobson's organ. That is a special place right in the roof of the mouth where the tongue goes right back up in. Just like we have two holes in our nose, they have two holes in the roof of their mouth where the tongue goes up. And they can smell hundreds of times better than we can using their tongue. Now this little guy here is sniffing around with that tongue to try and find out who's here and is there anything to what? Eat. Eat. That's right. Like hard? It's hard, but is it smooth or rough? Rough. Do you think it's rough compared to the bearded dragon? Feel. It's sort of soft. Yeah. It's, doesn't it, instead of feeling bumpy and spiky, it feels like all the scales are laying down smooth. Come here, good girl. Look at that big tongue. There we go. She's opening up. And you can see her big tongue. It's a forked tongue that comes out. Do you think she's full grown? She's full grown. Guess what? She's only about half grown. Okay, this is about half the size she's going to get in the end. She's going to get to be about five feet long in the end. She's going to get a lot bigger. Unfortunately, a lot of times these types of lizards don't get fed well when they're young and they don't get all the vitamins and everything they need. And so it stunts their growth when they're young. They don't end up as big as they could be or as healthy. It does help with the smelling process. If you see a spider, a bug, a mouse, a lizard, a snake, should you touch it or pick it up? No, not really. Not because they're going to bite you. They're kitty cats. The reason is because at your age, you don't know what hurts you, what doesn't. But today you're going to learn very few things hurt you. Okay? The only time you touch things is when you're with mommy or daddy, you ask permission first, or you're at school with your teacher. Understand? But again, not because they're mid-dangerous and mean. Here's the thing you're going to find out. Most people, not everyone, but most people are taught wrong. Now, it's like this. You ever heard the word potato bug? No. A potato bug is no more a potato bug than I am Madonna. It's a cricket, un grillo. The closest potato bug is probably Fresno, 235 miles from here. I'm not going to put it on you. When I'm done with you, you'll be a professional. You must face your fear. The girl there, come on up. Come on up. The girl here in the yellow, come on up. Come on up. Girl here, come here. The boy there, come here. Just to be in your hand. I'll be right with you. Now watch. Look at me. Look at. Is it biting me? Is it biting me? No. There you go. Then you have nothing to fear. I'll be right with you. Don't look at your mom or dad. They're not going to hurt you. No, no, no come no, with me. No, 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 no. I'm right with you. Is it hurting you? It tickles. But is it hurting you? No. Isn't tickle good? That's it. Sit. Look at. Come with me. No, no, don't drop her. I know, but I'm going to hold her in the other when you get to... No, no, come with me. Come Remember, the tongue is coming out wide. What's it doing? Smelling. Smelling, so it's going, Bala's not a, a mouse. I'm not going to eat him. Now watch, watch. See, look at Your finger, come with my finger. Watch. Wait up, I'm going to hold her now. I know, sure you are. No, no. That's it, just softly. Don't worry, she won't, if she comes back to smell you, never grab. She's going somewhere. Softly, never grab. 